The National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, NAPTIP, has dismissed claims by the Lebanese ambassador to Nigeria that none of the 56 Nigerian returnees from Lebanon were victims of human trafficking. The Director General of NAPTIP, Julie Oka Donley, while addressing newsmen in Abuja, says most of the alleged human trafficking cases in Lebanon are usually reported to the Nigerian embassy in Lebanon. The DG says investigations by NAPTIP shows that Nigerian migrants to Lebanon are usually maltreated by their Lebanese counterparts. We would have ignored His Excellency's statement, but for the necessity of setting the record straight and presenting the ugly picture of the plight of many of our young women, usually between the ages of 25 and 35, who are trapped in domestic servitude in Lebanon and many other countries in the Middle East, such as Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Oman, Bahrain, United Arab Emirates, and Qatar. This phenomenon became apparent in the last three years, and you will recall that I have cried out about this development in some of our previous interactions. Specifically concerning Lebanon, NAPTIP has received not less than 50 distress calls from Nigerian women crying for rescue and return home because of the inhuman conditions in which they are made to work. We have on our records detailed information on the complaints of these Nigerians, such as maltreatment, long hours of work, non-payment of wages and sexual exploitation, cruel condition of work, illness, reduction of salaries, outright sale to third parties, sometimes even refusal of payment of salaries. I wish to use this opportunity to appeal to the Lebanese government to release 10 victims of trafficking who were deported at the last minute and could not return with their compatriots on the 24th of May. We have received calls from them that they have been held in prisons that border on breach of contract and trumped up charges of stealing. We request that these young Nigerians be released unconditionally and returned home.